Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome to the demo for Viewfinder. Uh, Viewfinder is a puzzle game that definitely takes a lot of inspiration. It's very obvious if you look at the uh, store page on Steam. Definitely takes a lot of inspiration from The Witness, at the very least visually. And what the core mechanic seems to be is, I, I think this is just a really cool idea. Let me, let me show you what I'm talking about here. There are puzzles that are kind of like this in The Witness. It's not really like a Witness-like. Right, we're in. Time to explore. But you can see a little bit already, probably. The sort of like disconnected space that is obviously made for puzzling. The, the sort of like intentional artificiality of it. Anyway, let's, let's actually do the thing, shall we? There's a coding pillows to watch the, oh, these, I'm reading these notes just from too far away to actually be reading them. That's where that text is coming from. I'm afraid the butter flavor is a work in progress for coding pillows to watch the footage. Popcorn next. There's no time like the present. You can build anything, yet you start to build a lab. So we're inside a computer simulation, right? We're, we're coding pillows to watch the footage. Yeah. So that, you know, also is witnessy spoilers I guess potentially but like if you wanted to if you wanted to know you know you know by now okay we have a jumps there's a little bit of navigation stuff what is this place I've never seen this much overgrowth before it's it's beautiful is this what it used to look like the world I don't have any kind of run or anything. But yeah, this stuff is uh, is fairly wild. It's probably a thing of some import. Ah. Whoa, you okay? Uh, your vitals look good. I guess we know now that falling doesn't hurt. That's some good news, at least. Oh, interesting. Way to get back up there. Oh, you what? That's sick. What a weird little so. So the voice is not the voice of our character, but rather the voice of someone who is monitoring our character in the simulation. That's an interesting um, sort of take. So this bridge doesn't look like it's in any different of a state of repair than these other ones. They all look kind of rickety. Okay, this one holds at least. What's an old photograph doing here? You hold on. I am trying to eat this chocolate. I cannot interact with the chocolate. Hold right click to aim, then press left click. Did hang on, did you just shift reality? Yeah, so that's the thing. That's kind of the deal of this game. <laughs> Welcome. A teleporter. Glad you made it in one piece. Okay, just put the battery down on any pad anywhere. I mean, it seems kind of powered. It needs to be even more powered. But apparently it's not the only thing the game has in store. That's just the thing that is made immediately clear by the store page. Looks like we need one more. Uh... It certainly is. Now go. You know I cannot stand these types of activities. Here I am, my love. 
Please, hold still. What do I even do with my hands? Just relax them and try to smile. A portrait in a digital landscape. Tell me, <laughs> is this technically traditional or digital? <laughs> Enough questions. Stop moving. Smile. So that is, in theory, the same battery, right? Just from a photograph of this room that was taken at an earlier time. It's interesting the way that it projects the space. Like the, the photograph remembers exactly the depth of all of the objects. That's very cool. Well done. Somehow that works. The, um, the physics implications of the thing we just did are absolutely wild. That means we don't have to set it down right side up if we didn't want to. I wonder how they're going to use that. You know, I haven't tried falling off. Let's just try it. Okay, they, they just tell you, hey, don't do that. Fair enough. I should probably try putting these up like straight. I've been doing them at an angle um, without exception. It's probably not the best way to, oh. This is a photo that was hidden inside of that photo in a place where you could not possibly have seen it. That's really interesting. It's kind of cool that the buildings are captured in like the background of the vista. I wonder if anything in particular would happen if we were to, um, you know, sort of unite these with their uh, their current um, their current counterparts. Hey, there we go. So it's interesting that that takes us to. Well, I was going to say to the thing's present day counterpart, but I guess it's not like they warp you between pads. It just puts you somewhere. And we don't have to worry over the insane danger of that because, you know, we're just that we're in a game. We're in a simulation. Oh. Yeah, that, I mean, that more or less works. I see why they had to give you a jump. That is really cool. Actually, I like that a bunch. Can I, hold on, can I see my inventory, my display of ducks? I cannot. Maybe there's a surface you can use to climb up there. Listen, we'll, uh, we'll always know we grabbed it. I need, I need to understand. This place, beautiful as it is, carries so much weight. There is promise here. Promise of a future we can surely achieve. Even now, I'm striving to reach heights I never thought possible. All that I hope is that that everything we do here continues to have meaning out there as well. For our sake, for Marin's sake. I too am very worried about Helen Mirren. Okay, that's kind of what I thought. This is a... Uh, is a cat who is employing Watson technology. Tea time was a success. I'd consider coating better tea leaves. So a surface we can climb up on. Doesn't look like it. There are leaves around the back. Oh, hold on, there's a post-it. Remember to water your plants. Yeah, there are leaves on the wall around, like, the back side of this. 
And maybe that's a climbable surface, but I don't see a way that we would access it. Also, we don't actually seem to be able to climb the leaves anywhere else. It's just kind of like a common video game thing. Okay, almost walked off the world. Hmm. Well, I don't think the space between those walls is what we're looking for. Sure would be helpful to find a photograph. Yeah, it's definitely not letting me climb these. Hello? Oh, there is a... I totally missed this photo. Okay, so... Something like this, right? I have to be careful not to, like, carve important pieces of reality off. But yeah, this is very neat. So is there anything else going on around here? It would not seem so. I'm going to be on the lookout for that cat shadowing us again. I've been working on a series of paintings, one to represent each of us. It's a great way to document history. Hiraya has been rather shy about it, and Mirin has avoided the conversation altogether. I have to look to Chi Lung for support. He promised to help, but only if I beat him in Mahjong, which is entirely unfair. Hopefully, with the help of a cute kitty, I might be able to cheat. Sometimes being a little devious is okay, especially if it's for the greater good. Like art! Why, in what way is that like art? Mirren prefers cooler tones for her workspace. Find a better gradient. So this game definitely seems more interested in making sort of a character story. Like there, there are there are going to be characters in the narrative here, whereas the witness was very much about a sort of um very much about a sort of a uh a place and a set of ideas. Not to exception, but... <gasps> That's a good point. I did do that, didn't I? I had to put this down like... Like this. Because this thing contains infinite copies of this photo, and we're getting closer. <laughs> Ah, uh, almost. One more. You made it. It's not that difficult. And they can safely put that note up because everybody who is seeing it is definitely going to agree with them given the fact that they already made it. Before we go forward, just out of curiosity. The overgrowth is an interesting touch for making the place feel like it's not quite what it was meant to be without like breaking the sort of visual tone they're going for, without making it seem like stressful or destroyed. So this one's a drawing. Close your eyes. I don't know if I should. Is this payback for making you mix new soil compositions all day? Please, Hiraya, have you ever known me to be the vengeful sort? Hmm. Okay, see you. <laughs> well, this is a pretty cool effect. I did just like obliterate part of that easel. You gotta be careful with this stuff. The colors. How long did this take you? Now that would be telling. 
art should retain <laughs> some mystery, no? Let's put this like over here. I appreciate the sound effects here and like the the increased silliness. But I don't know if this is appropriate as like cartoon footstep foley, unless I'm supposed to be sneaking. The jump is good though. I am so happy the door opens. That's not what I was. I mean, I don't even really have anything to say. I feel like I feel like the game is sort of doing all the talking for me on this case. I definitely have my concerns about this just basically being a cool trick. But even if it is just a cool trick, they're getting a lot of use out of the trick. Your mind is limitless. This was fun. Few things make me happier than when you say that here. Why is this locked? Oh, uh-huh, I see, I see. Okay, so at some point you get your camera, your own ability to, uh, to do the thing. Don't wanna destroy whatever that is over there. That was pretty good. I did that pretty well. Oh, shoot. I like the rewind feature an awful lot. So it's the camera, although the figure's been... Oh, I guess the whole room's upside down. Huh. How did I just now notice that? Well... There's definitely something going on up or down there, depending on how you want to view that. I wonder if there's a way that I could have, uh, could have gotten up there. This camera physics thing that Mirren has proposed is going to make me nauseous. Gravity exists for a reason. This camera physics thing that Mirren has proposed is going to make me nauseous. Gravity exists for a reason. All right, what if we... So you can double tap to go back to the last uh, sort of waypoint. I want to go way back. Is 
is there a way to use this? I guess I did a very silly thing here where I created more path to go over to the picture when what I could have done was just this, right? Why not do it this way? <laughs> Bloody air, okay. There we go. Reality was just being a tad inconvenient. <laughs> Can I get close enough? I wanted to be able to get close enough to see it through the, like, between the bars here, but without reproducing any of the bars. I guess a thing that I can absolutely do. Let's like, we're going to need to get the battery power thing as well. All right, let's take that picture and just like post it up over here. And we just walk around the portion of the fence that we captured. All right, so we need two batteries. Although, frankly, one battery will do just fine. Okay, nothing terribly important here. So let's, um... Physics. Right. So if I just put this here, my hope is that the, um, yeah, the battery will be so angled that it'll just fall off the pedestal for me. This is going to allow for some really interesting solutions. Okay, that's all they have to show you in the demo, and I reckon that's probably all they needed, right? If this is the sort of thing that appealed to you, you are probably, as I am, already all the way in. So that's going to be it for us for today. Thank you all so much for watching. I got to say, so far I've been very pleased with the crop of videos that we have pulled, or the, the crop of demos that we have pulled. Um, there are going to be a few more. I'm going to I'm gonna go to bed, probably. So yeah, later today, so some, some hours from now, there will be a second crop of these. Uh, and then we'll probably resume normal video schedule after that. So thank you all so much for watching. Come back in a while for some more, and we'll see you then.